My name is Neil Bailey. I'm a financial planner and a director of Fortitude Financial Planning based near Toaster. Fortitude was amongst the first firms to be designated an accredited financial planning firm in August 2011. Uh, when we talk to both potential clients and professional connections, we can demonstrate that our business has adopted the highest ethical and professional standards and is committed to delivering an effective financial planning service. Um, we also expect to benefit in the way that we're perceived within the profession. Uh, in future, we believe that there'll be increasing competition to recruit and retain the most talented financial planners and power planners. Uh, and we hope that being an accredited firm will, will help us with that. Um, another key benefit is that we are now part of the community of accredited financial planning firms. Um, our professional body, the Institute the Institute of Financial Planning uh, is particularly good at providing opportunities for this community to meet, share ideas and discuss how to build more effective and profitable financial planning businesses. In order to achieve accreditation, a firm has to demonstrate that it has robust processes which ensure uh, that it can deliver financial planning service to a, a consistently high standard. Uh, we're a process driven firm. Uh, and we deliver a financial planning service that's in line with the classic six-step model. Uh, so we were confident that um, completing the application form would be quite a straightforward process. Uh, we had to demonstrate a number of things, uh, that we provide a full financial planning service for clients, including lifetime cash flow modelling, uh, that this service is communicated clearly to the client, uh, that we have a consistent fee structure and a clear and visible investment philosophy, uh, and that all of our team are aware of the firm's financial planning service and how that differs from traditional financial advice. Uh, we've always been enthusiastic supporters of the Institute of Financial Planning. Uh, we believe that the objective of developing the profession of financial planning in the UK is, is very important. Um, when you look at what's happened with RDR, you find that many financial advisors have been reluctant to implement change and they've only done so because the regulator waved a big stick and, and insisted that they do so. Uh, contrast that with the financial planning businesses that are supporting this initiative, not because they have to, um, but because they feel that it is the right thing to do. Um, I think that with the benefit of hindsight, we'll see that the launch of accreditation marks a real tipping point in creating, in creating an environment that provides a, a defined career for the next generation of uh, financial planning professionals, um, and also the opportunity to develop profitable and sustainable businesses which deliver measurable value to clients. Definitely. Uh, we need to get more firms on board in order to maintain momentum and increase consumer awareness. Uh, ideally, the accredited logo should be seen as the quality mark of financial planning, giving the consumer confidence that they will be treated properly. Um, and gaining accreditation shouldn't be too much of a challenge for firms that are already delivering a proper financial planning service. Um, they'll be rewarded for doing so because they'll improve their business processes, that will result in, in better client outcomes and it will increase the profitability of their businesses. Um, the IFP will work with firms to achieve greater recognition in the industry, providing tailored support to help firms to build their brands. Um, it was very good value actually, we thought. Um, there's a, a, a base fee of £750 and then uh, £25 a registered advisor within the firm. So with, uh, with Fortitude that's £825 uh, and that's a per annum um, subscription. Thanks for listening.